Hi everyone, it is time for the finale of my 12 Pants of Christmas project hand, which was started by Jacqueline Levine, um, formerly known as Forward Famous here on YouTube. And I'm going to start this by saying I did not finish all the items I wanted to finish. I did not finish 12 items. But I think I did a good job at um, what I did. And um, I think we're just going to go right into it with um, the products that I have going. I'm going to start with my first product. This is the already um, clay um, clear line um, and it's the face fluid that I have finished up. I did not use this on my face because this is for actually combination oily skin with the acne and my skin uh, now that I've moved turned into a combination dry skin. So I could not use this on my face but I used this on my arms and on my decollete because there um, it was doing a very good job. It was still hydrating enough but it wasn't drying. So I just finished this up right there. Then I have my already um, eye cream. This is for lupine peptides and I did not finish this one up. I got all the way to the bottom right here as you can hopefully see. But I did not use this up completely and to be honest I'm not too sad about this because I like the eye cream and I don't have a new eye cream yet and I'm not sure if I'll be able to go shopping and like figure out which one I want to try next. Uh, so I'm glad this isn't done yet and I hopefully can get another week out of it until the next weekend at least so that I then will be able to find um, some time to actually research what eye cream I want to try next. Then uh, one product that I had used up in the first update already was my Balea Made um, Night Cream with uh, Q10. I did like this a lot and I finished it up within the first update, within the first um, like section of this project pan. So I'm um, a little sad that I've used it up but then again I have other night creams that I use. And um, like I said I was using this probably mostly um, also on my neck and my decollete because that was the area where I was um, you, where it worked the best with my dry skin especially. Next up I have another product that I did not use up yet. It's the Balea Urea Foot Lotion and um, with this I am all the way down here. I have maybe an application left if I'm lucky but I just did not get around to um, apply this again before I filmed this video today. So um, I hope this um, will be done by the end of the year. Uh, if I get around to applying this like I did in the last month, I'll be fine. So hopefully this will work out for me. Then I have my Soap and Glory, um, the Daily Smooth Body Butter for Dry Skin in the scent Missed You Madly. I finished this one up as you can hopefully see, it's like all twisted and bent. I'm sad that this is gone because I do like this a lot, however, um, it also means I am done with another um, body lotion for the year and that's just great. I also um, need to buy new body lotion now because this is gone and don't have another body lotion with me. I don't just I ran out of them. So um, this is a very good thing for me to be honest. At the same time I said that this is gone because I just love the scent and I love how rich and moisturizing it is without making my skin, skin feel too sticky and gross um, for a long time. Then I had my um, Lush Mint Julep um, lip scrub in here. And there's still a little bit left, as you can maybe see. I, it still smells like the mint that it came, um, smelled from the get-go. And there's not a lot left, but I just did not get around to really exfoliate my lips too much. Um, or even more in the uh, last uh, three weeks that I um, have really been working on this. So um, maybe I'll be able to finish this at the end of the year, but I'm not sure about this. If not, I'll just um, finish it up in January and then it'll be gone. I think these lip scrubs are nice but in the end I think you can just as well use an old toothbrush or just um, mix your own lip scrub by just using a little bit of sugar, add a little bit of oil in there and you should be good to go. So I'm not sure if I would repurchase this one particularly but I do like what it did to my lips. And then I have my eyeliner here. This is the Catrice um, Precision Eye Pencil in the shade Wild Thing. This was a nice green shade and this is completely empty. I can't twist it anymore up. It is completely gone as you can hopefully see. And I did enjoy this a lot. But it was getting very old and I just needed to move this out of my collection. So I did this with this project pan. So um, this is now empty as well. Then if you watch my Snapchat or um, 
take a look at my Instagram every now and then, you have seen this My Catrice Velvet Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Vanilla Too Fair. It's not completely empty and I left the crumbs in there. Unfortunately, this fell on the floor and it fell on the floor. Like the entire product came out and fell on the floor and we had just before worked on this exact um, floor with our um, outside shoes so I'm not comfortable just repressing and using this. And it happened um, right after I filmed my um, Forgotten Heroes video, which um, was, um, I think I uploaded this like on Friday, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I'm very sad that I, can, I couldn't use this one up. I could have made it, judging by the amount that I have left, but I just don't feel comfortable um, putting something on my eyelids, which I um, had just dropped on an area where I know we were walking around with outside shoes. So I just find that gross. So I'm going to consider this one done but it was not a like I would have loved to use this up because I do love this next so up much. I have my elf blush in the shade Mellow Moth and with this I only want to change pan which I had done and if I'm not mistaken with my first update already I love this shade it's just absolutely gorgeous it's nice for fall and winter and um, I had actually retired this um, after I had hit pan like major pan like this because I wanted to play around with some of my other blushes and I don't want this to go, to be honest. I just want to have a little bit more time with it. Next, I have my Catrice Camouflage Cream in the shade Ivory, 010 Ivory. And it is completely gone. There is not much left in here. It's still a bit dirty, but that comes with the territory of having a cream product in here. And I'm glad it's gone because I've had this for about a year now. And I do like this a lot, but I like the liquid camouflage from Catrice a little more even. Then I have my Catrice Beautifying Lip Smoother right here. And this one, unfortunately, I also did not finish, but I'm all the way down to here. The reason why I did not finish this is actually that I had lost this in my purse and I couldn't find it. I didn't know what, what the heck happened with it. So I did not use this for easily two weeks. And... Um, I think two weeks I could have done this. I was up here when I started and now I'm down here. I'm going to continue using this just for the rest of the year because... Oh, sorry, I have a hair here. I'm going to continue using this just because I want to use this one up. There's so little left, I just want to be done with it and um, it would make me very happy when I finish this one up because I'm pretty sure I would repurchase this. It's just very nice. It's like the Clara's Instant Light Natural Lip, Natural Lip Perfectors. That is a mouthful. But it is a lot cheaper. It's a drugstore product and I just love this. Also, this is cruelty free. So, you know. <laughs> and then I have two more products that I wanted to hit pan on. And the first is in my um, Ulta Beauty um, Brow Powder um, project, product here. I wanted to hit pan on the shade Light. And as you can see, I did. I have been using this continually ever since I um, hit pan. I have this on today. I just absolutely love this and um, since the packaging broke I just want to finish this one up a bit quicker than I would normally but um, yeah I've hit pan which I wanted to do and I'm very happy about this and the last product in here is another eyeshadow this is a Catrice eyeshadow which came as part of a duo and it's just this taupey shade which I wanted to hit pan on and as you can hopefully see I did succeed with this so um, all in all, I have to say, I think I did an okay job with this project pan. I did not do amazing, because amazing would have been like finishing all the products I wanted to finish. But I think I did a great job just with the um, items that I wanted to use up, and with the project pan, with the pans that I have hit. So all in all, I have. Let me take a look. I have four products left that I need to pan on. I have thirteen in here. So I hit um, my goal for nine of them and that is just great for a two month project for me in the end. And um, these are the four products I have left. I'm continuing to use these and uh, well, these two are almost done. These two are also almost done. These take a bit longer than these because I'm pretty sure that this is one use only. This will hopefully last me for the rest of the week. And these two um, might just be products that I will be done with in January. So that being said, I hope you had a wonderful um, holiday season. Um, Hanukkah is still going on. Christmas is now sadly over. 
but I hope you had a just wonderful time and you had some wonderful time with your family and your friends and and I wish you a very nice last week of the year 2016 and um, have a great day bye